Hey, my name is Jay and welcome to another Rick and Morty video. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more Rick and Morty videos. So judging by the title, most of you guys might be already commenting how much you hate Jerry or what kind of loser likes Jerry or how much you relate to Rick. But before you comment that, I just want to voice my opinion before you do it. I know some of you guys will already say that my opinion is shit, but you know, I will respect anybody's opinion regardless. So, let's begin. Yes, the title was clickbait, okay? But, I will say that Jerry did beat Rick. But he didn't beat him indirectly. Or, my bad, he didn't beat him single-handedly or directly. I think he beat him indirectly. Now, let's begin with episode 1 for season 3. Rick successfully caused the divorce arc. This divorce arc has been the main theme for season 3. And it has affected the family a lot. I mean, we saw Morty change to a whole new character... Well, not really a whole new character, but some a different Morty than we got to see in season one, season two. He's more dynamic. He's he has more, he's more towards the family this time. Summer's a bit more mature. Uh, aside from that whole body looking thing, I think that's only because of her relationship with Ethan, and then how it affected Beth and Jerry. Jerry became upset. He became he was on the verge of being depressed, and Beth looked like she was all right. She was feeling free, but. As as the as the episodes began, as the episodes continued on uh, throughout the season, we got to see the long term effects of this divorce and how it affected main mainly most importantly Beth, Jerry, and Rick. So Rick throughout the whole season was dominant. He felt he felt big. He felt like the alpha of the family. Whereas Jerry started to, to crumble down. He started to slowly wither in his own area and then beth started to become a bit more open more free with her hobbies as well and then throughout the end of the season beth started questioning her her relationship with her father she started seeing if she was a good mother or not and i think ultimately this also impacted how she wanted a family she wanted to be with jerry again kind of because after the abc's of beth we still don't know if she was a if that if it's the clone that's speaking or if it's actually uh, Beth, but judging by the end of the ABCs of Beth, when she looks at all those photos of Jerry herself and Summer and Morty, I think that she was still she still had feelings for Jerry. And as for Jerry, he tried to come back with a rebound, but ultimately ended up failing because he doesn't want to have another person. He wants Beth. And by the season finale, when Beth starts going a bit crazy, whether she was a clone or not, she went to Jerry, which I think that's when it locked in. I think that's when that was the downfall of Rick's leadership. So at the same time, you could say that Rick indirectly helped Jerry get a win over Rick because Rick's main goal was to get Jerry out of the family. But by the end of the season, Jerry came back and, well, it, Rick was kind of upset with it. I don't think he acknowledges the loss. I just think he's just pissed at what's happening. So my thoughts on this, I think that Jerry did beat Rick, but he didn't completely beat him. I don't think he completely took the W. It was like a lowercase W and, and Rick took a lowercase L. I don't think it was something big. I think it was just, I think it was a like he just made it. Like he 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 luckily made it. He luckily took this just win over over Rick. And whether or not season four features round two of the battle of Rick trying to get Jerry out of the house, I think regardless, we are bound to have this family together, whether it is dysfunctional or not. Now, of course, some of you guys will be disagreeing with this, how he didn't really overcome Rick or whatever. And I'm okay with that. I'm up for a debate and I'm fine with it. I'm not sticking how I'm not I'm not solely sticking with Jerry beating Rick because I think also Rick kind of beat Jerry as well uh, by having him out of the house for the majority of the season. So I think like think about it as a boxing match. I think like Rick dominated throughout the whole rounds. But at the same time, you know, Jerry had this lucky round where he got a knockout or a knockdown or some shit like that, um, where that miraculously gave him the, the W, like an undeserved W. 
But I think regardless, it was bound for the family to get back and Jerry to be there. So that was my thoughts on it. Obviously, the comment section is open for you guys to say whatever you want. So I will be going through the comment section to reply to anybody who wants to talk about this. And I'm fine to have a good debate about it. I also want to thank Juan Murad for, for helping me with us with this idea. And also a commenter on one of my videos, Jeremias De Los Reyes. I think I said that correctly. Uh, he kind of... he. He says that uh, Jerry beat Rick at the end of season three. And so that's when the idea came to my mind. So thank you to those two people for helping me make this idea of a video. So with that being said, you know, the comment section is up for grabs. You guys can say whatever you want and I'll be trying to reply to it. And also, if you guys are new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos. I'll be covering Rick, Rick and Morty, some wrestling videos and some Walking Dead videos, as well as some other movies that are upcoming as well. And if you guys want to see some stupid ass vlogs, you guys can check out Unfamous Studios. Or if you guys want to see me play games, you can check out Unfamous Club. And I think that's about it. If you guys want to support me even more, you can go check out my Patreon. Or you can support me by buying my merch and representing it with all that cool shit you know. Check out some more videos. My name is Jay, and I'll see you guys in another day. Peace out.